Okay, today's Llama Lab test, I thought I'd go through a bit of a practical example of the trainer difficulty setting and what it really means when you're going up a hill. Does having that trainer difficulty setting at 100% really mean you'll go slower than having it set to 0%? Well, the theory is it doesn't. It's only what you feel in the legs with the trainer that you're riding. It has no impact at all in game. Unfortunately, your avatar is a soulless, heartless little avatar who rides a bike and has no feelings. This trainer difficulty setting only impacts the feelings for you, not your little in-game character. So what I'm going to do today, two runs up Watopia Wall, 900 meters, at 350 watts for both runs, one at 100% slider, one at 0% slider. So again, to recap what the slider actually does, let's pull up the menu here. Under settings. So to recap the trainer difficulty, if you're in a smart trainer, the smart trainer can simulate hills and resistance. So 20% grade, 25% grade, or on a lower trainer, 10% grade, maybe 6% grade. Or if you're on a non-smart trainer, it'll always be zero. You just won't feel the hills. Here we have the trainer difficulty slider. And in gray there, Zwift State scale the feel of gradient changes. As I was saying, the feel of the gradient changes, not the impact of your rider. For your rider to move from A to B at a certain weight and height and the equipment over a certain time, it requires energy. The same energy at 100% slider or at 0% slider. You need to produce that energy in watts to move your avatar from A to B over a certain time period. So the theory is this has no impact whatsoever. And that's what we've seen. But today, here's what I'm going to try. We're going to scale that all the way up to max on the kicker 18. We'll do one run at 350. I'll try and hold 350 as close as I can. Spin around, we'll go back down, we'll look at the time. Same setup, same scenario, same watts, if I can hold them, at zero. And then we'll see the time again. That should put it to rest. Does the trainer difficulty slider have any impact at all in game? It doesn't, but we're gonna put it to the test on your avatar. So let's uh, set that first to max. Get back into the ride here. Okay, so the trainer difficulty is set to max. Coming around over the bridge. And I have to commit to 350 watts from the start to finish. I'm also running the kicker climb on the front too. Okay. Let's see how we go. Current comms a minute 39. Someone's gone very fast up there. Okay, here we go. Ramping up. Try and hold 350, up goes the climb. A little bit too much, backing it off, backing it off. Okay, this should be a little bit easier to hold 350 through here. Steady 7% grade. Just lift the watts a little bit. Here we go. May have overcommitted to the watts. Okay. You can feel it backing off. I need to grab some gears to keep those watts up on the kicker. Okay, climbing again to seven. It's gonna back off over the hill there. The train's gonna let go of the resistance. I'm gonna to have to grab some more gears. Or spin it up. Get the f out of here. 
Alrighty, first run. 218, thereabouts. Someone's got a flying KOM time at the moment. So two, 218 at me trying to hold 350. Wasn't perfect. And uh, so 218 will go. I'd give it a bracket of probably two seconds either side of that. Now you think if I put that same effort in with the trainer slider set to zero, hopefully it'll be more consistent because there's not this happening on a trainer. The time should be the same. Or plus or minus two, depending on how, how smooth I can hold those watts. But we're about to find out. So let's get this downhill done. Let's spin around and try it again. Okay, 53, 54. Once I'm over about 55 or 56, if I don't pedal, aero tuck. There we are. Oh, and the rain comes out. Bad timing. Bad timing with the gods. <laughs> Alrighty. Here we go. We'll let our avatar roll down through there. So again, back to settings. Menu settings down here. Trainer difficulty. Off. Done, done, okay, our train difficulty now set to zero. Need to find a good gear to be in that'll allow me to hold. I'll try and go the same kind of gearing that I found before, so the inertia is about the same, flywheel's about the same. And here we go. Second time up the hill, trying to hold 350. I'm gonna have to commit a little harder than that, aren't I? Have to commit a lot harder than that. Okay, still trying to find that perfect gear. It's hard to find that gear. Here we go. Right. Too much, here we go. Trying to be smooth, trying to be zen. Look at that ETA, looks familiar. Now, this is not erg mode, this is in sim mode. So I can't just set ERG 350. Rain's not helping my motivation. Right on Gibbons. Look out. There we go. My estimate was plus or minus two seconds to factor in the meat motor that is me. There we go, 220. I think that's pretty conclusive that the trainer difficulty slider is only about the feels, not about the virtual world that you're seeing. Two separate realities. One is here, what I feel in the legs, and the simulation the trainer's giving me. 
The second reality is in game. Here in Zwift, that's the reality that is unchanged with that slider. The 7% grade on there stays 7%. But at 0% on that slider, that's all I feel, 0%. One steady flat line ride. So there we have it. A quick Llama Lab test, which has been a bit of a good workout for me. Showing the trainer slider, what it does, what it's all about, and those two realities we need to keep in mind when changing settings either on the trainer or our bike versus in-game here on Zwift. Alrighty, that's me done. I was gonna say for the day, but I've only done eight Ks. A few more laps of Watopia coming up, we wish to see you out there. Have a great ride. Thanks for watching.